hun eerste album werden 12 miljoen exemplaren verkocht. En vandaag komt hun tweede album uit, Take Me Home. Dat is nu al goud in Nederland. Ik loop nu ergens in Londen. We mochten niet zeggen waar. We hebben ook net pas toen we aankwamen op Heathrow te horen gekregen waar we ons moesten melden. Want het management van One Direction is doodbenauwd dat het anders binnen no time hier vol staat met duizenden meisjes. Want dat gebeurt bij de jongens. Nou, hier binnen moeten ze zitten. One Direction. Guys, welcome on my show. If you have to give a, a quick description of yourself, Liam. Uh, I'm Liam, and I'm known as the sensible one, who's not so sensible, but is still sensible. <laughs> I'm Louis, and I find myself very punctual and have a deep enthusiasm for life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fine. I'm Niall, and I'm known as the guitar playing Irishman. Yeah, the only one from Ireland, actually. Yes. Yeah, and you're proud of it. Very proud. Yeah. yeah. I'm Zane, and I'm known as the moody, mysterious one. The mysteriously loud one. Yeah, are you moody? Uh, no, I think I, I think I'm just uh, misjudged. Misjudged. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> and Harry. I'm Harry. My known as the end of the radar. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, nobody knows you. No. <laughs> Seven and a half million followers on Twitter. I read. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, oh, that's the most oh, of you all you. actually. Yeah. Is there a competition between all five of you? No, I don't think no. so. And if not, we've already lost. So yeah, there'd be, there'd be no point, really. <laughs> yeah. Are you living your childhood dreams, can you say? Now? Yes, yes, definitely. For sure. I think yeah? Yeah, this is more than we could have ever imagined. So, What did you dream of as a child? Fairies <coughs> and pictures. No, in terms of... <laughs> <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to be Can't either be a footballer or a singer. Yeah, what did, did you dream of I fame? Thought of, like, if I was like tidy in my bedroom and I had the music channels on, I'd look at it and I'd be like, imagine doing that. It'd be amazing. But then I think it's really unrealistic. Twee jaar geleden deden ze mee aan de Britse X Factor en werden ze bij elkaar gebracht door Simon Cowell. Two years ago, you didn't know each other. No, no. And no, we have. No, and and you entered X Factor uh, because you all wanted a solo career. Yeah, we always wanted to sing, now, I guess. Well, the thing is, we didn't yeah. enter the X Factor going, let's go for a solo career. The thing is, the X Factor is just, just a great opportunity or a great chance to just Get give it a go. Out. And you never really think about anywhere for anything past the X Factor. So we're all like, okay, let's give it a go. Yep. One minute, Uncle Sai says, let's chuck the five of them in a group. And here we are today, sat talking to yourself. And how did you react to that? That, that Simon said, well, let's put them it together. Was just, he, was to, he just gave it a new, a different like, thing and like, new lease made of us. Life. Yeah, new lease of life, I was going to say that. But yeah, no, we, I suppose we're all just very excited to, to get together and make it work. Yeah. Zane, was, it, was there an instant click between the five of you? Um, I'd say so, yeah, because we, we literally we were, we were confronted with you know, uh, a decision we had to make. Uh, pretty quickly and it was you know either go home as a solo artist mm -hmm. or continue in the competition in a group and when we all like first were told we were going to be put in a group we got like well how long did we get about 15 20 minutes backstage yeah. to talk to each other nice. yeah i think we got yeah. about 10 minutes okay so we got about 10 minutes and um our first impressions of each other were just like yeah i could do this they're, they're quite cool quite cool yeah, yeah. We could. yeah yeah i could do this they're quite cool, these ones. And now your, 